Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this short video lecture, I would like to guide you about basic knowledge for civil engineers. If you are working on construction site, if you are studying, so you should know about the basic knowledge which can help you on construction site or if you are studying, so these basics can help you. So if you have any question related to this short video, so you can comments, I will respond to you. This is part first. In next video, I will guide you for part second and third. There you will find a lot of knowledge, especially for civil engineering students. Okay, the first one is M20 grade of concrete. Remember, guys, M20 grade concrete we used for construction of foundation. That's why, because foundation is the main part of building, so therefore, M20 grade concrete should be used for construction of foundation. So, M20 grade concrete we have the ratio. The ratio of concrete is there. One ratio, 1.5 ratio. 3 where one part is cement 1.5 parts are uh, sand and 3 parts are crushed or aggregate okay so you can also use it for plain beam floor beam and also for slab construction that's why because this this ratio is uh, normally using for commercial building also for residential building so if you are going for the mega project so in that case we will do the special design or the standard design which can uh, our mix design you can say uh, we can get start from m25 to and, and you can go m25 m30 m35 40 etc okay and the next one is guys minimum spacing between door and windows should not be less than 12 inches so how the minimum spacing between door and windows especially for normal residential building so guys you can see this is the front elevation of a room okay suppose this is its door okay and this is its window so this spacing between door and window should not be less than 12 inches so normally you can keep uh, uh, up to 18 inches 20 inches but it should not be less than 12 inches so this is the main point next guys you can see here the average ceiling height minimum is 210 centimeter standard is 240 centimeter and good is 260 centimeter suppose this is the height of the building or height of the room so this the ceiling height okay so the ceiling height you can keep suppose this is the total height which is about you can say three meter or 300 centimeter okay but the ceiling height you can use the minimum so the minimum is here 210 centimeter okay and normal or standard has 240 centimeter and good is 260 centimeter but the standard height is 300 centimeter or three three meter okay next guys the cement should be stored in dry place that's why because uh, this is very sensible the cement and it can lose the strength so therefore the cement should be used in dry place not in wet place so otherwise uh, uh, it will make a problem to you and you can, cannot get the full strength of the cement. Next guys here, the cement pegs should be above 30 centimeters or 12 inches from the ground level. Guys, you can see uh, when you want to store this, uh, the, the cement for the construction because this is the main material. So as you can see here, these are cement bags, suppose. Okay, these are cement bags. So the cement bags should be up. So the, here you can provide the uh, any kind of support okay so it should be above the ground level about minimum 12 uh, 12 inches so otherwise if you directly put on the top of the ground floor so it will make seepage uh, and also it it will make a lot of problems to you people uh, due to atmospheric uh, environment okay so therefore it should be above the ground level minimum 12 inches or 30 centimeter next cement bags should not be touch the wall if it touch the wall so that's not good for the cement bag so therefore it should not be touch the wall next don't buy the cement if expiry is not available on the bag it means that is not the proper material and there will be something wrong maybe the, uh, so it, that is being expired so therefore you uh, if you buy you cannot get the full strength so if the expiry is not on the cement bag so it means you don't know that what is the expiry that's why because cement we can use uh, because the total uh, days we have uh, are uh, so we can use the cement up to 30 uh, uh, 90 days okay or three months so if you have more than three months uh, if you are using more than three months so it means the cement is being expired and it cannot give you the full strength so therefore the cement expiry should be on the bake cement bake then you will know that what is the it's expiry date if it's not available so don't buy that okay next guys remember something more about the basic knowledge next guys the hook's length should not be less than three inches what is hook's length guys you can see 
suppose this is beam okay or this is a uh, uh, column so here guys you can see these hooks okay as you can see this is steel these are steel reinforcement so these hooks then should not be less than three inches uh, otherwise uh, uh, that is not the proper structural drawing for the beam or column etc next and steer a riser not uh, so the and steers riser should not be more than seven inches what is riser what is straight okay so this is riser suppose uh, guys you can see these are steps okay and here this is slip or floor you can see so this riser guys this is riser so this riser should not be uh, more than seven inches okay so normally you can use from six to uh, seven inches or between six to seven inches but it should not be more than seven inches otherwise it's difficult uh, to use the staircase because angle can be increased so normally you can keep the uh, angle between uh, ground floor and the stair up to this from 25 to 40 degrees so therefore it can increase the uh, angle of stair so therefore it should not be less than seven inches and this is straight so this straight length should not be less than nine inches but uh, i recommend you you can use from 10 to 11 inches okay so when we are using the tile or marble on the top of this so it can go to uh, up to 30 centimeter or 12 inches next the diameter of the ring or the stirrup should not be less than six millimeter for normal residential building normally the people are using uh less than six millimeter okay or uh, even they can uh, you can say uh, uh two suter or a two number steel so don't use less than uh six millimeter okay but normally i am recommending you used here eight millimeter for normal residential building also for commercial building but for commercial building you can increase it's depend on the structure load and also the structural drawing of the uh, beam column slab etc but it should not be less than six millimeter for normal residential building but normally i am recommending you that you can use as you can see here this is the ring so it should not be less than six millimeter but i am recommending you eight mm 8 millimeter is proper uh, dia of a ring or lateral ties hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye